Brian Beno, que es el Lead Technical Coordinator y Control Simulator Engineer. Así que aquí va la entrevista sobre Eco Car 3. Brian, thank you very much for uh, talking to us and uh, we're talking about Eco Car 3. Can you tell us about uh, this contest, please? Sure, yeah. Uh, Eco Car 3 is a uh, four year automotive engineering design competition for college uh, undergraduate and graduate students that is uh, sponsored by the Department of Energy and General Motors and it's managed by Argonne National Laboratory. Yeah, so every four years. So this is like the Olympics or the World Cup, something like that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's that's a good analogy there. Yeah, it's, it's four years, and um, each year gets a little bit harder. And we have different uh, technical objectives uh, set up for the students every year. So um, it's it's more of a marathon, not a sprint. Yeah, absolutely. Because I mean, to produce a new car, it takes uh, more than four years in most uh, most cases, right? So, and this is only for the United States, or it's open for the whole world? Um, this is uh, for the. North American automotive industry mostly. Um, we do have uh, students that uh, you know go to these universities that that may be from other countries, but uh, it is it's mainly um, focused for the North American automotive industry. Okay, so before we go into the number three, can you tell us a little about what happened and what was the winner in Eco Car number two? Sure, sure. So. Um, in EcoCar 2, uh, we just wrapped EcoCar 2 up, um, and so we just started EcoCar 3. There's, there hasn't been a winner for EcoCar 3 yet, uh, but uh, with EcoCar 2, there's actually um, three winners uh, because there are three. There were three years of EcoCar 2. So oh, okay. The third and final year of EcoCar 2 was uh, uh, that was Ohio State that won that one. Okay, and uh, can you share some of the details of the the advancement? I know it was just one particular model or some technology, or how how are the awards uh, given? Absolutely. So um, the the awards that we give out, they're actually in many many different categories. Um, so really, the the winner of the competition is the one is the is the team who was able to balance all of the, the different categories against each other. Really, just like uh, how um, an automotive uh, um, OEM would do uh, with with a vehicle that they're trying to bring to a market. Oh, okay, so okay. Ohio State. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. No, yeah. I... Oh, so um, so Ohio State built a vehicle that was the most well-rounded out of out of the rest of the vehicles, um, but really a. a a, a standout with them was uh, with their emissions. They actually were able to achieve um, emissions that were about half that of the stock vehicle um, when you drove them on the same drive cycle. Okay. And uh, so uh, for these years, there any new uh, things that compared to the previous programs? I mean, new, I guess there's new many new technologies that have come up lately. So are there any new parameters for this competition? Yeah, so um, so all of our um, advanced vehicle technology competitions, uh, they've been going on for uh, about 26 years. And uh, they've actually, um, the, the technical objectives of these competitions have evolved as new technology or hot research areas come into focus. Um, so uh, recently, I would say in the past uh, 10 to 15 years, the focus has really been about electrification. Um, so using alternative fuels with uh, electrific electrification for the vehicles. Um, and so EcoCar 2 was, uh, was, was focused mostly on hybrid electric vehicles, uh, plug-in hybrid electric vehicles. Um, now EcoCar 3, um, we, we changed the platform a little bit. Uh, to be a smaller vehicle that the teams will be working with, and it's actually in the uh, sports car uh, market segment. So this is going to be a, a Chevrolet Camaro that the that the teams are working with um, for EcoCar 3. So with that comes numerous uh, design challenges. You know, there's there's uh, less packaging space to fit uh, yeah. components in. Um, there's more of an emphasis on performance than say with. Uh, with the EcoCar 2 vehicle platform that was a Chevrolet Malibu. Um, so uh, we've also um, added innovation and cost metrics into the, uh, into the equation. So really, the teams have um, 
lots of different variables that they have to consider when they're designing their new vehicle for Eco Car 3. So this uh, sounds to me like they're like working in a real life environment as a car is produced uh, in a real uh, manufacturer, right? That's that's exactly right, and that's the that's exactly the kind of experience that we try to uh, create for them. Um, because when they graduate and they go into the automotive industry, um, those are exactly the same situations that they're going to be faced with. They're working on a uh, you know an interdisciplinary team. Uh, working in a fast-paced environment uh, with deadlines and, uh, you know, measurable objectives. So um, that's the environment that we try to create for uh, for our students in EcoCar 3. So the, the main goal for the competition is uh, not only developing something that might be very useful for the manufacturer, but also for the students to, like, enhance their career as they are going through school, right? Yeah, that's, that's absolutely true. Um, so... Really, uh, the, the main reason why the Department of Energy uh, became involved in these competitions uh, 26 years ago uh, was because they wanted um, they wanted a an avenue to really educate the next generation of automotive engineers, um, as well as a, a way to accelerate the development and the demonstration of technologies that may be of interest to the Department of Energy and the automotive industry so um so that's really kind of what this uh, the purpose of this competition is is to do that and uh, what about general motors what's uh, their involvement in this uh, program obviously maybe they use it as a recruiting tool for like gather the best students ever i mean that they're available out there yeah that, that's right um so general motors as well as uh, many other industry partners um are involved uh, mainly to uh, recruit the, the talent that is created as a result of, of students participating in these competitions. Um, General Motors also, um, you know, it, it also helps to improve relationships with with other suppliers, with other um, uh, companies in the automotive industry. So there's that aspect as well. But the main one is is uh, having access to the top talent um, in the in the intro automotive engineering field. So uh, you mentioned that even though it's, uh, the, the contest is divided into a four-year cycle, within that time frame, they're going to be competing every year or every few months on something specific? That is, that is correct. So uh, we, we try to follow um, basically a modified version of General Motors' vehicle development plan. Okay. Um, and so we we basically turned that uh, global development plan into um, into an eco car version of that. So uh, the first year will will start out with the students learning how to uh, virtually simulate uh, their their vehicle powertrains. Um, it'll it'll include them um, getting the the CAD uh, data from um, from the manufacturers to. To do a space claim analysis and structural uh, analysis of the vehicle and their components that they uh, plan to integrate into the car. Um, so, so most of the first year is all virtual. It's all done really in computers, and then they'll do a little bit of bench testing at the end of year one. Um, and then the second year is where they will, you know, take those components and they will they will actually integrate them into the vehicle. So they'll take the design that they. Uh, came up with in year one, and they will uh, implement it in the vehicle in year two. And then year three, uh, the plan is for them to take that take that car that they built in year two and to get it um, running to a point where they can start doing some uh, controls calibration work on it. Okay. So to get it to a, a reliable state. Like a real uh, test, like then, a, a real life test, yeah. Right, right. And then, um, and then year four of the competition is all about optimization and refinement. So it's really to to get the, to bring the vehicles up to a level of functionality and refinement that's the showroom quality. So, um, so, so yeah, um, I'm sorry, we're running out of time here, unfortunately. Uh, so uh, the most important question maybe is like, so all the participants are already uh, chosen, or is there any way anybody interested want to participate in this? How does that work? Well. Um, People who are interested in learning more about EcoCar 3 can actually go to our website, uh, www.ecocar3.org, um, and they can learn about the, the universities that are involved in the competition currently. 
Um, every time we have a new competition, we uh, we release uh, a request for proposals, and we have uh, universities from all over uh, the United States, uh, even from Mexico and Canada, that uh, submit proposals to be a part of the competition. Okay. Uh, and then here at Argonne, we, we review those proposals and uh, evaluate um, evaluate uh, who the best teams are that that would uh, that would be best fit for the competition, and then we select those teams, and they will be involved for uh, the entirety of the of the competition series. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, Brian. Uh, Spokesman for Eco Car Three, the next challenge. Uh Department of Energy and General Motors for all this information and uh, we're going to share with all our audience and our social media pages uh, and uh, I guess we, we can we can talk and get us uh, some updates uh, in the next uh, few months and years, okay? Great, I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you very much, bye. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.